Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 9. Unit 1. History. Evolution of humans and society. Prehistoric period. Book back exercise. Dear children, today we are going to do the book back exercise. Let us start with recap. The history of humans is intimately linked with the history of the earth. The earth originated around 4.54 billion years ago. The ancestors of human called hominins appeared about 5 to 7 million years ago. Although people gave divine explanations for the origin of humans, science believes in the theory of human evolution from the great apes. Humans began to domesticate animals and cultivate crops. The agricultural revolution led to many changes. Humans lived in permanent houses, made pottery and with the surplus production they developed various crafts. The earliest evidence of humans is available in Tamil Nadu around 2.15 million years ago. The middle Paleolithic culture is found in some parts of Tamil Nadu. The Mesolithic people lived in all the areas of Tamil Nadu. Neolithic culture is limited to northwestern part of Tamil Nadu. The Iron Age saw further expansion of people in various cultural zones. The foundation of subsequent Sangam Age was laid during this age. Iron tools were used in agriculture. Now children, we will go to the exercise part. Choose the correct answer. Dash is genetically closest to humans. Your options are Gorilla, Chimpanzee, Orangutan, Great Apes. And the answer is Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee is genetically closest to humans. Fine. Okay, second one. The period called Dash marks the beginning of agriculture and animal domestication. Your options are Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic and Megalithic. And the answer is Neolithic. The period called Neolithic marks the beginning of agriculture and animal domestication. Third one, direct ancestor of modern man was Dash. Your options are Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens and Neanderthal man. And the answer is Homo sapiens. Direct ancestor of modern man was Homo sapiens. Fourth one, Dash refers to the area covering Egypt, Israel, Palestine and Iraq. Your options are Great Rift Valley, Fertile Crescent, Solo River, Neander Valley. And the answer is Fertile Crescent. Fertile Crescent refers to the area covering Egypt, Israel, Palestine and Iraq. Fifth one, Sir Robert Bruce Fute a geologist from England first discovered the dash tools at Pallavaram near Chennai. And the options are Microlithic, Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic. And the answer is Paleolithic. Sir Robert Bruce Fute, a geologist from England, first discovered the Paleolithic tools at Pallavaram near Chennai. Sixth Question is, the period before the introduction of writing is called prehistory. The prehistoric people developed language, made beautiful paintings and artifacts. The prehistoric societies are treated as literate. The prehistoric period is called ancient. And the options are, one is correct, first and second are correct, first and fourth are correct, second and third are correct. And the option is B. First and second are correct. 
it means the period before the introduction of writing is called prehistory and the second one the prehistoric people developed language made beautiful paintings and artifacts fine children seventh one the neolithic people used polished stone axes called sills evidence of neolithic village is found at payampalli in chennai district the cultural period that succeeded the neolithic is called the bronze age the period that witnessed domestication of animals and cultivation of crops is called mesolithic the period that witnessed domestication of animals and cultivation of crops is called mesolithic so let us see the options option first is correct option second is correct option second and third are correct and fourth is correct and your right answer is a first is correct the neolithic people used polished stone axes called sills fine moving on to eighth one assertion and reason assertion many of the mesolithic sites are found nearby rivers and tanks reason is irrigation management developed during mesolithic period and the options are assertion and reason are correct and reason explains assertion b assertion and reason are correct but reason doesn't explain assertion c assertion is correct but reason is incorrect d assertion and reason both are incorrect and the answer is d assertion and reason both are incorrect okay children now let us see fill in the blanks first one hand axes and cleavers are the important tool types of the dash culture so hand tools and cleavers are the important tool types of lower paleolithic culture second one the methods and techniques involved in the production of stone tools are called dash technology lithic technology okay so methods and techniques involved in the production of stone tools are called lithic third one dash is known as the middle stone age as it is placed between the paleolithic and neolithic so the answer is mesolithic mesolithic is known as the middle stone age as it is placed between paleolithic and neolithic fine children okay moving on to third roman number find out the correct statement a the concept survival of the fittest contributed to the scientific understanding of human origins b the book on the origin of species was published by herbert spencer c darwin's theory of biological evolution connects with the process of natural selection d geology is the study of lithic technology okay answer is e the concept survival of the fittest contributed to the scientific understanding of human origin second one among the great apes orangutan is genetically the closest to humans b the ancestors of humans were called hominins and their origins have been traced to africa flake cannot be used for tool making d Achillean is the main block of stone from which small chips are flaked by using hammer stone and the answer is B the ancestors to human were called hominins and their origins have been traced to africa so children now let us see the match the following fourth roman number paleoanthropology the study of the human ancestors hand axe tools achivilian images on stone and bone venus red sand dunes terries stone artifacts of small size microliths fine children now we are moving on to 
answer the following briefly. Discuss how the age of speculation made humans become conscious and knowledgeable. And the answer goes like this. In the course of evolution, humans began to think and ask questions about nature, organisms and the world around them. This made humans become conscious and knowledgeable. Second question. Write a note on the impact of pastoralism on the prehistoric people in Tamil Nadu. The people in the Iron Age practiced agriculture and domesticated cattle and sheep. While some of the groups were still hunting, they developed irrigation management. Millets and rice were cultivated. They made pottery. They lived in permanent houses and they developed various crafts. Third question, list out the features of megalithic burial type. The burials are classified as dolmens, it means stable like stone structure. Cysts, it means stone enclosures buried under earth. Menhir, it means pillar like stones. Sarcophagus, buried receptacles made of Terracotta. Fine children. So moving on to fourth question. Explain the tool making technical skills of lower Paleolithic people. The people of lower Paleolithic culture made life hackers such as hand axes and cleavers to meet their subsistence needs. They have physical symmetry and convey the human's cognitive perception skills. They produced flakes from the stone block or pebbles and made tools. Moving on to Roman number 6. Answer the following in detail. The developments in the fields of agriculture, pottery and metal tools are considered a landmark in the life of megalithic period. Substantiate. So first let us study agriculture. When the people of megalithic period, it means iron age, practiced agriculture, millets and rice were cultivated. Since many of the sites were found nearby rivers and tanks, irrigation management developed. Irrigation technology had developed. The burials were placed along the rice evidence. Adichinalur and Poruntal. Now moving on to pottery. Black and red were pottery were used during this period. The pottery has a black inside and a red outside with lustrous surfaces. These potteries were used for cooking. Cooking, storage and dining purposes. Next one is metal tools. The megalithic iron tools were used for agriculture, hunting, gathering and battles, swords and daggers, axes, chisel lamps and tripod stands are found. Bronze bowls, vessels, mirrors and bells have also been found. The burials of this period have iron objects placed as grave goods. Moving on to second question. The history of humans is closely related to the history of the earth. Elucidate. The history of humans is closely related to the history of the earth because geological, archaeological and biological records of historical times are found in the upper layers of the earth. Particularly, the fossil bones of the human ancestors are embedded. Palancanthropologists and archaeologists excavate the soil and rock layers and extract evidence. Scientifically, dated layers and the fossils helped to study the various stages in human evolution and prehistory. 
by the geologist the long span of time in earth's history is divided into eras periods and epochs protozoanian era multicellular form of life paleozoic era fish reptiles plants mesozoic era dinosaurs xerozoic era australopithecines southern ape from the apes modern humans evolved hope all of you understood you can watch again and read the book again you will understand better thank you